Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Okay, as you can see, we're in Messyville. We in Messyville with these two young ladies. I don't know why they can't keep their mouths and their business to themselves and out of other people's business. Child Eva and Candy from what the streets are saying, they trying to get Cynthia and Kenya back on the same page. Okay. Right now they're in two separate books. And the two are not meeting. They're like two ships passing in the night. And ain't got no dinghy on either boat. Okay. Oh, candy, candy, candy. Eva, Eva, Eva. Why don't y'all let sleeping dogs lie? Y'all don't really know what really happened between them two. You got Cynthia telling her side. You got uh, Kenya telling her side. I probably don't even want to talk about it. Okay, because Kenya built like that. She a strong ass woman. Okay, she go for her. She get it. She secure it and get it. Got it good. Okay, she ain't got time for no weak ass people. Now we know Eva not weak. We know Candy not weak. Okay, we know they both go after what they want and they get it. Okay, they secure it. Cynthia, on the other hand, she got to be wishy washy. This, that, and the third. Hell, we couldn't even get her to win Big Brother over there. At least play second place. Okay, we gave her one assignment. Go in now, manipulate, manipulate, manipulate. Lie, lie, lie. And don't be trying to go to school like you're making friends and shit. Like everything is unicorns and fairy dust and fairy tales. Hell no. So Cynthia deserves everything that Kenya is giving her. Which at this point is nothing. She is paying her dust. Okay, so whatever happened on that ultimate girl's trip. Kenya took it very personal, and she just threw Cynthia to the wind. Like, <laughs> if the wind blow me her way, I might, but I, I'm just not feeling Cynthia. I need people that are strong and, 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 and can handle their own. And right now, Candy, Eva, Cynthia can't do that. And she never will do it, because I think she was 55, 56. She done passed. She got more years behind her than she do in front of her. And she got Mike. Okay, and I'm still trying to figure out where the hell Mike at. Why is Mike letting y'all get up all in his wife's business? Okay. Mike is supposed to be her best friend. Her comrade. Her comrade. For someone for her to go and talk to about things. Okay, not Ken, not Candy, not Evil. Okay. And I'm like, damn. Ken just don't want to be her friend anymore. This ain't high school. This ain't elementary. Damn, let sleeping dogs lie. Candy, you got too much on your plate, or at least I thought you did. And I got to talk to you and discuss some things with you. Uh, and that generator and talk, talking about he don't want to get one. Piss poor management, and that's why Candy, old, old, old lady gang is in the toilet. Okay, because I wanted to go, but with COVID coming, I had called COVID. You know, I'm trying to build my immune system back up. I'm sounding good. I'm feeling a little better. Okay, and I'm like, damn, I ain't got time to come visit your restaurants, and you got bad grades going on over there. That's a hazard. That's a hazard to have low scores in the hygiene department of the food category, girl. Get it together. Damn. But, okay, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about uh, this crazy stunt that you're pulling over here trying to uh, get Kenya and uh, Cynthia on the same page. I'm like, Mike, where you at? Why you ain't doing your job, Mike, because uh, Cynthia's paying too much attention to her friend that's lost somewhere. Because Kenya damn know, she, she damn know where she at, okay? And she fighting battles and, and putting out fires and still forging ahead. Because her ex-husband, or soon-to-be ex-husband, shit, I thought Kenya was divorced. But how this information just keep coming up on these streets? Talking about Mike want her to, not Mike, but uh, Maude want her to pay his legal fees, this, that, and the third. I'm like, damn, Igor, Ninja, did she just get you out of tax problems and then you want to get on this land? I'm like, what happened to the men of the world? What happened to them surviving and doing what they got to do? Why they got to seek out women and get them to pay them now? What the hell is going on with this world? Everything that's good is bad and everything that's bad is good? Make it make sense, y'all. Make it make sense. I mean, we already seen the, the, the history between them two trying to get them together. Hell, when Greg was living. And we couldn't even do that. All right, they kept fussing and fighting with each other. And they supposed to be good, good, good best friends, okay? 
So sometimes you just can't mend fences. You people just gotta go their separate ways. And then hey, if you get in your seventies and eighties and you can still talk and think, maybe y'all can uh forgive one another for the sins that both of y'all committed against each other. But this shit is just too messy and candy, you're not the one, baby girl, to be sitting up there trying to get two grown ass women and they're older than you, Candy. They minding their business, why don't you mind yours? Better yet, go find Todd. And get some of his business to, together, okay? Because from what the street's saying, he's still fucking up your money. He's still fucking up your money, girl. But that's just, that's a, okay, I'm on a tangent. Got to get off of that. Got to get off Nene. Got to get off Portia. I'm talking about Cynthia and, and, and uh, Kenya. And you two women, like y'all ain't got enough on y'all plates with y'all family. Okay, and your businesses. Y'all want to spearhead a campaign to get Cynthia and Kenya back on terms, good terms, okay? But uh, yeah, and y'all think I'm lying? I ain't lying. They want Candy want them to be the three musketeers, but evidently, see, we have always been telling, well, hell, I always been telling people that will want to listen to me when I'm talking, okay? And spilling my guts out about these so-called celebrities. Kenya's a tough cookie. Okay, she's a very tough cookie. She knows what she wants. She knows how to formulate a plan of action to get exactly what she wants. Okay, she set a goal. She sets her expectations and she goes out and get it. Cynthia, not so much. Okay, Cynthia can't even get her own gigs. And whether y'all want to believe it or not, I'm telling y'all, Candy has something to do with Cynthia being on Big Brother. Just like she's been in the public saying... Uh, her and Marlo got on a little tip here and there, and she was one of the first person spearheading for Marlo to get her page. And ta-da! Looky, 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 who come cookie? Nene out, Portia out, and Marlo is in. Okay, now tell me where in the world does that make sense, okay? Because I thought Marlo always just wanted to be a, a writer. You know what I'm saying? She she really didn't want to have a page or whatnot. She didn't want that press, press, press. And she was okay. But then when the wind blew and Nene was out the door, she was like, oh, yes, I can take her place. I can get that money. And, of course, she did 10 plus years on uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta as a side chick. Okay, I ain't going to say side hoe, but side chick. Okay. And she slid herself in there after she forgave, the, the, the uh, gay community forgave her and she made amends with them. Okay. And it took some time. They wanted to see if she could show and prove that she wouldn't be make, making any more gay bashing uh, comments and this, that, and the third. So they felt she learned. She learned from her lesson. Okay. And she's been cool with the gay community since. So that's why pretty much. She, along with Candy's nudging, she got her back on the show. But I'm like, Cynthia just got too much time on her hands, okay? She couldn't even win Big Brother. She couldn't even come in second place at least, okay? And we worked with her. Well, I ain't going to say in my mind I was working with her. But Candy, I'm sure she was working with her. But yeah, they all live in Atlanta. And um, what do you call it? Cynthia take her flights here and there. She needed to choose. California or Atlanta. California or Atlanta. Because she ain't going to be able to keep both things. Okay. Not how Mike going. Because she need to keep her eye on him. Because hey. When she's away. The Playboy Mike will play. Okay. I'm just saying honey. But we're going to get on into the story that Yahoo.com had brought out. Um, They had said. um, What her name? Abby Freener. She wrote an article on them and said, uh, titled it as Candy and Eva are cooking up a plan to get the love back between Kenya and Cynthia. I'm like, sometimes the love just needs to be lost. You know what I'm saying? The love just has to be lost. We don't need nobody going around trying to put somebody back together that don't want to be put back together. Of course, Cynthia wants to be put back together because she thinks everything is play school. She thinks everything is elementary. She got to keep her same friend. I wonder if she have Kenya sign a, a friendship co- contract. Cynthia, I mean, <laughs> we saw that one burn up in the sink with Nene. Who stop your mess, Cynthia? Pull up, girl. Will you ever come to an adulthood? I don't think so. Nowhere will be more of an adult than you have in your whole lifetime. And that's a damn shame. Okay. But anyway. Going back to the article. Okay. It says. Uh, whether it's her weekly Sunday dinners. Or epic holiday spreads. Even Marcel tends to center life. Life's important moments around incredible homemade meals. So when she was thinking about how to get two of her friends back to a good place. Naturally. Her plan started in the kitchen. 
on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen's March 6th episode. Candy Burris explained that Abu Kenya Moore and Cynthia Baylor are still not on the best of terms following their disagreement seen on the Real House wives of uh, Ultimate Girls Trip, Eva had a food-focused idea to help them work out their issues. Now, you know, black folks, okay, especially these women on this show, they love to eat. Yes, they do. They'll probably start themselves afterwards or throw up or whatever, but when it's good food, they're going to be sitting right at that table. Now, Eva, I think she just got a high-ass metabolism, because that woman eat, 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 and then eat, and don't gain shit okay and my mama had that kind of same thing my uncle had it too they can eat the whole house flat down you know what i'm saying clean us out and stay on gang shit but anyway me i can just breathe the food and there you go Bloop. i'm like pillsbury dough girl okay pillsbury dough girl all right but i'm happy i'm happy girl but anyway uh going back to the article it said i saw eva the other day and she was saying to me she was like we need to have a girl stay at her house so she can cook and we all can come and just hang out so we can get the love back between kenya and cynthia Candy said too, which Andy quipped, well, let me know, because I will send the cameras. I'm like, God damn, see, that's what I'm talking about. Really, Andy, you already know Cynthia ain't on the show. Now, what you want to bring her back as a cameo, a guest appearance or something? Hell, she should have took the deal as being a friend of the family, and then she wouldn't be so miserable. Then she could see Kenya from here and there. And then, quiet as it's kept, a lot of I'm going to speak it out. Could it be that uh, maybe Cynthia's a little jealous because... Uh, Kenya's still on the show and Kenya's still making her six, seven, eight, um, um, what do you call it? Figure salary. Could that be it? Is Mark, not Mark, but is Mike trying to tell Cynthia she ain't no good? Is Mark, is, is Mike, uh, clowning on you, Cynthia, that you need to tell us? Is he not rubbing your ego, stroking your ego, telling you are a phenomenal woman? phenomenal woman you are girl is he just doing you wrong behind closed doors and you need to tell you need to cry out to somebody tell us let us know honey we can come over there and drill him down to the ground because we didn't want you to marry him in the first place because we know he was stringing our holes uh going to and fro to and fro that's why he want no way to stay with him too long because she's gonna tell you mama he a hoe he a hoe mama but you know that would be your what third fail marriage let me see no second fail marriage peter him well, we don't count Leon because y'all really wasn't together together. Y'all was just dating. But you don't need to get in no more marriage. I'm sorry. You need to just go on and, and live life fabulous. Just like your mama and your sister. Uh, okay. Because uh, they ain't married no more either from what I understand. But anyway, going back to the article. It says, while Candy took a moment to share Eva's cooking plan during the episode, she also discussed her own food-related uh updates including her restaurant staffing choices and what she loves most about owning eateries what brings me uh the most joy is that through old lady game we are able to provide so many jobs for the community she said we have hundreds of employees and yeah to me that's like a big deal to be able to provide jobs for people okay and i'm like candy goddamn we ain't, we ain't here for you to tell us how much you support support the community girl we know you be out there whoever put that in your ideal of giving back to the community well done i don't know if it was mama joyce or with your other two aunts who know it could have been your dad because you don't never say shit about your dad what's up with that candy why you don't never talk about your dad he married you okay you don't want that or he don't want to be on social media he don't want to be in the eyes of the community especially in georgia girl what tell us what's going on i know he a pastor but okay if he don't want to be on there i understand fully but child i'm like oh candy evil sit your asses down y'all can have fabulous get togethers and this and the third and if they don't want to get back together y'all can't make them folk get back together all right and candy quiet this kill you need to get that restaurant on point with them all uh, uh especially scores honey before you talk about providing uh jobs for the community and this that and the third because shit get some more bad uh inspections out there you you ain't gonna have no no jobs for you ain't gonna have no place of business for them people that you call yourself getting together and giving jobs to they ain't gonna have no job because they don't shut shit down okay so uh anyway 
And Kenny, we know you like to eat. You don't have so many surgeries. And, you, and you, to be fair to you, you always be telling us. You be very transparent of what you're doing, how you lose the weight, how you do, how, how you are losing the weight. But girl, we know you like to eat. Okay, and if you didn't do these other things, you'll probably biggest meal more. All right, but it's just you. What it is? I'm pills. There, no girl over here. Just punch me in my. No, don't punch me. Just um, poke, poke me in my stomach. I go. <laughs> okay. All right. Glad y'all got it good. But yeah, that's how we have for this uh short little introduction of um Eva and and, and Ken trying to be mediator and processor and server. Okay, to try to get these two women back together. And I'm like, if they can't get it back together, or if they don't pray about it, and the Lord can't get back them, them back together, then that's all y'all can't get them back together, okay? God thinks Cynthia is just, see, too much, even to be a grown adult, okay? And Kenya needs people, strong people around her. So when she get weak, somebody else can pull her up and not, you know, make no stupid suggestions here and there. Because, you know, Kenya can't stand stupidity. She, that don't run in her family or not her current family that she's making stupidity has to go out the window you got to show and prove and you got to be out there doing it out on fire a hustler that's what i'm trying to say a hustler and cynthia i don't know what's going on with her businesses okay you know the bailey agency what's going on we got in the models coming out cynthia and then she got these eyewear glasses and apparel uh with the luggage and stuff is it selling cynthia girl put them in walmart hell Put them in Walmart, lower the prices, and you can have me as a client. <laughs> or consumer of your goods, baby. Because I ain't paying shit for nothing. Not no full price. No, 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 no. That's not me. That's not my game. I used to, but I got smart. I said, mm -mm, I'll wait till it come on sale. Or I got to give up some of my taste. All right. But it just is what it is. That's just how I am. All right. But if these two women do not want to be uh, friends and they both live in Atlanta off and on. Okay. But I think Kenya pretty much live in Atlanta. Uh, Cynthia's going coastal here and there. But, you know, she got to stay close to Mike because if she leave him too long, you know, hey, dogs will play. Dogs will play. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, that's all we have for this video. If y'all think Candy and Eva's doing too damn much and they need to mind their own business, put a one up in the chat. Okay, put a one up in the comment section. Then I know, I'm like, okay, if y'all think these two busy bodies, meaning Candy and Eva, are doing the right thing and they should intervene on the sisters' behalf and get them back on one accord, put a two with them. Put a two. I'm strongly on the one. Leave folk business alone. Because like I said, you don't know what happened. Because they probably didn't show all of it on tape. Or uh, maybe Kenya had to get in her ass. It wasn't filmed or whatever. And, and when shown, you know, on TV, then um, maybe Sydney said some things that wasn't called either. But, hey, when Kenya get mad at you, it take a while for Kenya to come back around. And you got a real strong-ass woman and somebody she could depend on and need uh, in her future okay <laughs> because if you just cause her stress and you don't really bring any type of value to the relationship she's gonna cut you dry and this is how can you you love like i gotta have more of her that's just how she is and i can respect it i can't respect it because time is too short but um it could be some just crazy shit going on you know how women are we petty we petty we've been a wrong type of uh we call it emotions we're going through a certain type of emotions and you can't feel what we feeling we're gonna cut your ass dry that's a queer that's an aquarian in me but then you know we go back we think about it and we if we did something kind of wrong we'll come back and apologize and um we want to take things from there don't be keep put bringing stuff up let's see uh cynthia probably bring shit up uh to kenya kenya didn't like it okay because kenya you know she moves with uh a purpose <laughs> And Cynthia, she just moved. <laughs> now, no here, no there, no uh, compass to guide her or navigate her through life. She just moves, okay? So, Ken, I'm like, you, you, you think you're doing a good job. Sometimes you got to stay out of old business. You got to really stay out of old business, okay? And, and that's all I got for this particular video. Y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Please don't hesitate but to subscribe to the channel so we can grow. Definitely put your um, comments down in the um, comment section like y'all do. And I will get uh, with you. I will either give you little hearts or if you said something that I like, damn, that's what I'm talking about. Put two and two together and make four. All right, not this new math they doing with it. Two, two.
two and two don't make four, it'd be making 16. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know where this new math is going. Hell, I could barely do algebra and, and really got a D in it. So we ain't going to even say that. I could add and I could subtract. <laughs> you put them parentheses up there trying to go in between. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. But these two ladies, if they want to get back together, and God willing, they need to be back together, they will find their way back to each other. It's a relationship. But right now, uh, Ken's just not feeling Cynthia. And like I said, it's always two two sides to a story, and then the truth is somewhere in the middle. Okay? But uh, that's all I got for this video, guys. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.